Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Harris Knighted here, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Um, today, I just thought I would show you guys how to set up the Half Life Auto Splitter because it can be very confusing at some points. So, the first thing that you're going to need is obviously Live Split, and you're also going to need a copy of Half Life, um, either on Steam or you can use the WAN version or whatever. I use the Steam version. I'm pretty sure for one, it's the exact same process, just maybe with a few different, like, version changes or something. But for right now, um, what you just want to do is download Live Split and set up your splits for Half Life here. Um, so I just have them as each chapter. You can set them however you want. Um, I have them as chapters because you'll go through, like, Sometimes you might go through different maps that connect to each other so that you can, for example, in Blast Split where you have to turn on the power and the oxygen and the water or whatever it is. So I just have it as chapters. It's just much easier that way as well. But you can have it whatever you want as, as long as it works. You want to go to Edit Splits. And um, you, normally this would be deactivated, but you want to have... Um, the game name is Half-Life, and then whatever run category you're using. And what you want to do is make sure that this is on game time, and also compare against game time. That's what you want to do. Another thing that you want to make sure that you do is activate the auto splitter here, and then go into settings. So, right here it says enable auto split. Um, you want to have that on, obviously, and then you want to have split on game end, and then um, you know whatever you want to have here. If you're doing a poison force or blue shift or gun, you know all that stuff. Um, you can enable auto start and auto reset. It's just more convenient. You can also split on certain maps, um, and then split on Half Life chapters. That's what most people will use. Um, most people will either, for Half-Life 1, they'll just use Game End and Half-Life Chapters, Auto Split, Auto Start, and Auto Reset. Um, these are just for, like, if you're doing the expansion packs. So, here are the chapters that you're going to start on, that you're going to go through. It's, um, timing starts when you load into the first map of Anomalous Materials. So, Timing does not like timing is not going when the tram ride is happening because nobody wants to sit through that and just it's terrible. But anyway, after that you can just save your splits or whatever. One other thing that you're gonna need is you're going to need Bunny Mod XT, which looks like this. It's going to have um, it, you're gonna have the DLL file, which is like the actual plugin that gets injected into the game, and then the injector. Now the injector might be discovered as a virus by your antivirus software or Windows or something like that. So you just want to make sure that it doesn't scan for this file, or like it knows that this is not a virus or whatever. All it does is it just takes this DLL file and basically injects it into the game which is on, like, in your Steam apps Half-Life folder. That's mostly why it's considered a virus by antivirus software. If you want to actually go see if it is a virus, it is this BunnyWatt XT is open source, so go ahead and check the code if you really want to. It's not a virus, I can promise you that. But anyway, what you want to do is inject this into the game. You want to you want to run this injector while the game is running. Usually, you want to do it on the title screen. So I'm going to load up Half Life real quick. All right, so we have Half Life open now, and so what you just want to do is load the injector, and it'll start up as you can see here. This is the console right here. You don't really need to worry about that right now. But if it is showing, you know, the debug console, that means it worked properly. You want to have the 
DLL and the injector in the same folder. So now what I should be able to do is I should be able to start, let's just say I start on the training room. Then you'll be able to see the, the velocity counter in the bottom there. So there you go. Um, another thing, if you haven't already, you can set your binds uh, for jump as a scroll wheel. That'll make it much easier to bunny hop. Basically, what the main purpose of Bunny Mod XT is so that you could bunny hop like this. Well, kind of bad uh, it in windowed, but you know, bunny hopping. It basically removes the speed cap that is normally there. But what it also does is it allows for speed running things, such as a timer. Now, if I if I use my bind here it will start a run just like that so what I did is let me just reset the run so basically what I did is I went into the console and I typed in bind and then I used this but it doesn't really matter what you use you just type in bind and then a key on your keyboard that you want to use and then you type in I'm gonna put a quotation mark and put and put bxt bxt timer reset and then you want to put a semicolon there and then you want to put bxt timer start and then colon and then map c c1 a0 which is the start of anomalous materials. So if you do that and then you know go into a game and then press that key, it will start a run just like that. So it'll start the timer. Um, it'll you know remove the load times. It'll do all that stuff for you, and it should work pretty well. So you know what we can do is just go through kind of bad at windowed because I don't normally play as windowed <laughs> but see it'll subtract the load times and everything so you can blow up this casserole I haven't played Half-Life in a while but yeah if you do if you do all that it should split on the whatever you choose it whatever you chose it to split on so I just chose it to split on chapters you can choose to split on whatever you want I think chapters is just much easier to split on, so, Hello. yeah. And then let's say you mess up, you know, dang, I didn't get sub one minute on that. You know, you can just press the bind again and it'll restart the run, just like in Source. So that is how you set up the Half-Life Auto Splitter right here for speedruns. So that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to set up the auto splitter. I hope you guys find this helpful. And uh, see you guys in the next video. If you are going to watch another video.